Hello, I'm Dr. Zora Emma, and I will be discussing 10 radiology spotters or Antony cases. The first case is that of a suprarenal mass, which is predominantly fat density and shows some soft tissue component within it and few punctate areas of calcification. So, this is a diagnostic of an adrenal myelolipoma. So, any lesion in the adrenal which has macroscopic fat is diagnostic of a myelolipoma. This is a benign lesion and does not require excision if it is asymptomatic. The second case is a well-defined lesion in the mesenteric location, and this is a mesenteric lipoma. The third case, this is a multiphasic contrastin and CT of the abdomen. Uh, on the NCCT, we see a hypodense lesion. On the arterial phase, there is uh, peripheral, there is continuous, nodular, arterial phase enhancement, with progressive filling in towards the center in the portal and venous phase images. And on the delayed phase, we see that uh, the entire lesion has filled up leaving the central scar. So, this is a cavernous lesion. This patient came in with cough and fever, and on this HRCT, we see there is central lobular nodules retained by the parents in the right upper lobe, and this suggests active tuberculosis. Along with this, there is a para uh, vertebral mass lesion uh, in the right lower lobe, which has arterial supply from the descending aorta, and this is a Tuberculosis with pulmonary sequestration. This is an easy peasy one, a right ovarian domain. So, in this case, we see uh, abnormalities in the left lobe of liver, stomach, and left lower lobe, uh, which are similar in character. Basically, they are multiple cystic lesions which have septations in certain areas, along with some surrounding pneumonitis in the left lower lobe. Uh, ultrasound of the gastric. Uh, region that is ultrasound of the stomach confirms the intragastric location of this region, and these were multiple hydatidses. So, this is an antenatal ultrasound showing absence of calvarium, and the entire brain tissue in this uh, young fetus. And this is a case of anencephaly. So, anencephaly is a severe neural tube defect which is fatal and can be prevented with folic acid supplement. This is a pediatric brain MRI showing uh, an exophytic T2 hypodentized lesion arising from the pores, causing a placement of the fourth ventricle. On the T1 sagittal contrast enhanced images, we see there's no enhancement. Uh, so this is a brainstem glioma. Renal transplant patient HRCT images showing diffuse bilateral abnormality without any medial lateral or microvasal gradient. The predominant abnormality is brown glass, uh, and there are few lobular areas of sparing. So, diagnosis of such a case is PCP pneumonia. Uh, differential is CLV pneumonia, but we need to keep in mind that in CLV, we may get nodules. The appearance may not be so homogeneous, and thirdly, uh, pleural effusion may be sometimes found in CLV pneumonia. The third case is uh, so we have abnormalities in bilateral MTP and interpharyngeal joint showing uh, punched out well defined periarticular erosions with overhanging margins associated with soft tissue component and this is a case of bone. Thank you for listening in.